everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm Lucy and I'm here today to share with you some new pattern releases. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video with all our new indie pattern releases and I just couldn't fit the commercial pattern releases in there as well. There were just so many. So I did promise I'd come back and do a video on the commercial pattern releases as well. So I've got one from Vogue, one from Simplicity and one from McCall's, all of which are available on our site. You can find the link to our site below and if you go onto our sewing patterns by brand there's a section for new season and you can find all the new releases from the pattern companies in that section so you know what you're looking at is new as usual I'll pair the patterns with my fabrics that I've chosen all of which are available on our site as well and the link to our sites below and I've just chosen a few of my favorites from the collections because obviously there's a wide range of patterns for each collection and I couldn't do them all so I've just picked out my favorites so um, before we get started I should just mention the blouse I'm wearing which I love wearing at this time of year it's a bird a pattern um, you can tuck it in um, which looks quite nice but I haven't got the right colour jeans on with it today which is why I haven't done that although actually I think it looks quite nice with the blue um, or you can have it hanging out nice and loose and it's a lovely John Caldor crepe de chine um, fabric it was a birder pattern and I really love the details on this blouse but it's all on the blog um, I'll put a link to the blog below as well if you wanted to have a read up on that but I really love this blouse pattern it's a good one anyway let's get started so the first pattern I'm going to talk to you about is Vogue 1653. So this is a new release from Vogue. It's um, not a wrap dress. It looks like a wrap dress, but it's not. It's got a very, very deep V at the front, which I know for some people is off-putting. They do like their plunging necklines at Vogue. Um, I'm kind of okay with that because I'm fairly small busted so I don't feel too exposed or worried if I'm wearing a very plunging neckline. Um, however, if you don't like that, you can always just um, make it a bit shorter so that it's not revealing as much. Um, but it's got this very deep V, it's got like a little sort of what looks like a roll on collar. Um, there's different options for the sleeves, some are more flared than others, there's full length sleeves and um, sort of three quarter or elbow length sleeves as well. Um, some of the dresses have got like a nice tie that you can make to go with them as well um, and the view I really like is view B which has got the V full length sleeves and then it's got quite a full sort of midi length skirt which I think is very fashionable at the moment as well. Um, but view C as well it looks like quite a nice one that looks like a bit more like a traditional wrap dress although it isn't a wrap dress it gives the illusion of one um, and that's to the knee and um, a sort of more um, straight up and down skirt with full length sleeves it does say you can make this pattern with woven or jersey fabrics I think you'd want sort of like a heavy heavier jersey like a ponty or something probably if you were making um, making it with that um, but yeah it says you can make it with cottons crepes jersey knits um, I mean you could actually in fact probably make it with a lighter weight jersey knit it's quite a versatile pattern and it looks pretty easy to fit as well um, size wise it starts at a let's just have a look oh oh yeah they're in a different place on the Vogue pattern sorry about that it starts with a 30 and a half inch bust and goes up to a 44 inch bust 23 waist up to a 37 waist and a 32 and a half inch hip up to a 46 inch hip so that gives you your size ranges um, but I would choose to make view B which is the midi length version and I think I'd have liked to make it in this gorgeous John Caldor viscose fabric that we've got <clears throat> so it's just um, it's a really nice weight viscose it has got a bit of weight to it. it's not really really sort of flimsy and lightweight but having said that that as you'd expect from a viscose fabric there's a lot of drape and movement in it um, it's just got a really nice soft handle um, I like the it's almost like abstract leaves I suppose the design so just something a bit different to your florals um, and I think that would look really striking made up in that midi length um, plunging v-neck dress I'm just going to put that on the table because it's sliding off the bolt because it's so lovely and drapey 
Um, the next pattern I want to share with you is Simplicity 9012. So this is a Cynthia Rowley design, um, very, very of the moment, I think. There's options for two different dresses. Um, they're sort of along the sort of peasant dress type line. So they've got like a gathered, ruffled stand-up collar. Um, and then ruffled tiered sleeves um, and you can make this sort of smock dress this really loose fitting smock dress with the ruffled tiered sleeves and the standard ruffled collar you can add a waist tie if you want to or there is a top version which I, is the one I've chosen so I know a lot of people like separates not everyone's into dresses um, but I do think this is very very now this pattern um, and would look great I, I personally love the dress as well but anyway the top I thought would work really well in this lovely cotton lawn that we've got um don't think i've got any more details on that but i'm pretty sure oh here we go yeah no it's a oh sorry it's a viscose soft chalet digital print so it's a viscose soft chalet um so it is again a, a fabric with a lovely soft handle lots of drape and movement um, beautiful colors and i think that would work really well as that blouse and you could just pair it with a nice pair of um, dark indigo jeans and just add a bit of brightness and color to your winter wardrobe i think it'd be a nice way to do that so that's what i would do with that one size wise with the simplicity patterns they start at a 30 and a half inch bust and go up to a 46 inch bust 23 waist up to a 39 waist um, and hips 32 and a half up to 48 inches just so you know um, what that is but yeah really love that pattern I just love those tiered ruffled sleeves it's just quite simple it's raglan sleeves as well I think uh yes it is raglan sleeves as well so that's quite nice if like me you have any fitting issues in the shoulder areas that makes life a bit easier there um and it's just dead simple the front panel is just dead simple but then the twist of the uh, ruffled stand-up collar and the tiered sleeves just add some interest and detail and bring it bang up to date the next pattern is simplicity 9013 so this is um again a very very now i think simplicity have done really well with these couple of patterns um there's a full length maxi dress which has got um sleeves that are gathered into elastic at the um wrist it's got a round neck with a keyhole there's a bit of gathers up at the top of the keyhole as well it looks like it's sort of like an empire line I would say um, and the fabrics gathered into the waistline at the empire line uh, the waist seam sorry the empire waist seam the fabric of the bodice is just gathered slightly where it joins the fabric of the skirt and then there's an option for a full length maxi skirt with a little ruffled tier at the bottom so very very now very very on trend with the whole peasant dress trend which we keep talking about but it, what is not to love about it I think it's gorgeous um, but then if you're not into that there is sort of a knee length version of the same dress as well so it's not sort of full on um, full length and um, perhaps a little bit more wearable if you're not into maxi dresses um, but just a really really lovely design I really like this when I saw it and I thought I would have a go at um, making the or you could have a go at making the short version in this John Caldor Hermione fabric which is a polyester fabric it's a nice weight but it has got good drape as well and movement and I've seen quite a few of the shorter dresses the sort of knee length dresses in these dark florals that are slightly bigger than they're not a ditzy print they're bigger than that but they're not enormous prints either um, and I just think that would look really nice with some black tights and black ankle boots and again very very now and then we've also had a new release from McCall's so I've been looking for ages for a pattern to make some flared high-waisted jeans um it's just something that i've had in my head for ages that i really wanted to make and i couldn't quite find the right pattern for it but i think this may well be it i thought this was a lovely pattern um so it's mccall's 8007 
high-waisted, tick, flared, tick, although perhaps a little bit too flared for my liking. They are proper full-on big 70s bell flares. I think it's called, they're called bell flares. I think that's what they were called. I had some of these when I was younger and I went through my um, sort of 70s phase, but um, you could easily taper them and make them less exaggerated, which is what I would do. But there's just some really interesting design details on them as well. There's a seam that runs um, down the center of the thigh and then there's also a seam that runs up the back of the, th the leg um, and then goes round above the crotch and down the back of the other leg which I think is really interesting and on the images for the pattern they've had a go at mixing and matching contrasting denims if you wanted to do something a bit different um, but I just think the high waist and the seams which continue from the waist all the way down the thigh are quite flattering it just looks like it gives a really nice fit in that area I think you'd feel nice and secure I quite like high waist from that point of view um, I just think you could have a lot of fun with this pattern obviously you don't have to make it in denim you could make it in other things like twills chinos you know that's uh, chino fabrics that sort of thing um, size wise we are looking at a 23 inch waist up to a 37 inch waist and a 32 and a half inch hip up to a 46 inch hip and the fabric I chose for those was this lovely denim. We've got so many nice denims. This one is DJRS0001. So I will put a link to it below anyway, so you can find it easily. Um, but it is that nice sort of 70s colour denim. It's um, a sort of medium to heavyweight denim which I think would be suitable for those jeans. It doesn't say that you need stretch denim on the pattern. I think it's a rigid denim pattern it looks like so um, this should be okay and I think that would work well for those. So if you're feeling brave and fancy having a go at some jeans in the new year perhaps, good time to uh, embrace a challenge and do something different and try something new. I think that could be a cracking pattern from that point of view. And then the last pattern I wanted to mention is from McCall's again, and it's 7996, and it is your classic denim shirt dress now. There are a lot of patterns around for this sort of style of dress um, but this one I just think they've got it absolutely spot on with this one there's always something that I'm not quite sure about on the other ones I have looked quite a few times um, to find one I really like but I love this I love view a which is it's your classic denim shirt on the top and then it's just a straight straightish skirt um, I've seen these advertised loads and loads on um, some online shops like so sandar and um, there's a couple of others that a lot of celebs like Holly Willoughby and um, Amanda Holden and people like that that you constantly see in the limelight um, that I've seen them modelling the denim, simple denim shirt dresses from those brands and um, I just think they look great. So I would be tempted to make view A in this one. I think as well I did buy a denim shirt dress a few years ago and I wore it so much but there was something not quite right about it. I don't think it quite fitted properly so I've been meaning to make one for ages and I am a sucker for the classic dark indigo denim and we've got this one which is DJRS0003 classic dark indigo and this has actually got quite a bit of stretch in it so it is... Um, Oh, it's actually 62% cotton, 35% tensile and 3% spandex. So it's nice and soft um, and it's got a good amount of stretch in it, which, you know, you don't need stretch denim for that pattern, but it won't hurt to use it either. As long as you're careful and you don't stretch it out of shape, it probably just make things a little bit more comfortable. Um, and I think it would look great. And you could have a lot of fun with that pattern, doing some really nice top stitching, adding your own little twist to it. So I think I need to add that to my ever growing to sew list. And that is it from me today. Just a quick roundup of those commercial patterns. As always, you can find 
find all the links to everything I've mentioned below, the link to our website, the link to our blog as well. Once again, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I think this one's going to come out before Christmas. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for all your support this year. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to another year full of vlogs. And, you know, we'll be bringing in some different and exciting ideas, hopefully. If there's anything ever that you guys would like to see or you'd like to do a Q&A or anything like that, just pop it in the comments below. You know, feel free to give us your thoughts and ideas and suggestions because we love to hear them and we want to make videos that you guys enjoy so yeah if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and i'll look forward to seeing you next time